a bit random, but uh, a friend just rang and said they're moving the reindeer uh, now. <laughs> and it's quite the ordeal. With them all on snowmobiles and a helicopter and everything. So I said, do I want to come and have a look? Because they're just up the road. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> And I just came across that little fox on the way out. Oh, yeah. And he just sort of sat there and had a look at me. So I managed to just drive straight past a helicopter, which was really clever. <laughs> yeah, I've overshot it. Down there somewhere. But I'm thinking if I can pull over somewhere up here, we'll see them all go past. Here's the heli. So they're on that main road now. And they should be coming by here in a minute, as long as they stay on the main road. The reindeer. There's the helicopter going by again. Hopefully I'm far enough out of the way that I'm not going to spook them. But probably do them a favour and stop them coming down this road to be fair. <laughs> They're on the road, I can see the helicopter hovering. I'm not sure how many's here, but it's quite a lot. And what we'll do, we'll hide down here and then once they go by us, We'll dip in behind and follow along for a little bit. I've only put 10 litres of petrol in the car though, so <laughs> can't go for too long. But yeah, I mean, it's happening and it's, you know, seven kilometres away from our house, so why the hell wouldn't I come and have a look? <laughs> I can hear a car coming from this way. I'll tell you what, you'd imagine you'd shit yourself go past here and you get greeted with like a thousand reindeer, ten snowmobiles and a helicopter <laughs> in the middle of the road. <laughs> there they are, going off to the side. Oh thank god they didn't come this way. That is a lot. There's my friend in the bushes, he's gone by. Oh, is that the back? I think it is. Yeah, here come the snowmobile army. And there's the helicopter. <laughs> oh, it's mental.
Now this is definitely something you don't see every day. This isn't the best filming work in the world, but what can I do? <laughs> As good as this car is, can't really fall off. It just becomes a ship magnet, pretty much. Come up with for now. 
know it doesn't look like much, but this will make our lives a lot easier. Next winter. I was going to go all the way, but then I thought, probably better not. Because, like, trying to put the covers down and things, it's going to be a pain in the arse. So, this is already quadruple what we had before. Because it only came to out to about here. Now I'm going to stack this all the way, which is probably going to be four or five rows deep. And then I'll probably come right up to these bars, maybe even higher, I don't know. As high as I can reach. But it should dry out okay in here. I mean, this carport gets sun for quite a few hours. Gone midday. At minutes, anyway. But it's got plenty of airflow. I've got an air gap behind it as well. So I've stacked them not against the wall. So the air can get all around underneath and should dry them out. Obviously, all of the wood's not going here because it wouldn't fit. But we'll see how it goes, basically. At least the good thing about wood, though, stacked wood is it looks kind of nice as well, I think, anyway. So it's not going to look bad once it's all put here. Yeah, we'll see how we get on, see how much we can fit. If I do feel like I need to extend it longer, then I can do. But I'll have to cut a pallet up to do that.